Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Ellie and happy Friday. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys part two of my planner area tour. But first I want to say I'm sorry for uploading so late. I've been doing a lot of cotillion stuff and I also had to work and catch up on some orders and I had to do things around the house as well. But um, I'm going to show you guys this area right here. This is my area that's in the dining room, the second part. And I have my Walmart unit right there and then my Michaels unit. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the Michaels one. So this one over here is the Michaels rolling cart and it has seven shelves. And I purchased the Alex bins, I think that's what it's called, separately. And I contain all of my holiday stuff in each one of those bins. I'm not gonna open them just because I already did an entire um, video on that. I'll leave it in the description box below in case you guys want to check it out. But over here in the first two, I have all of my Christmas collections. So anything that's Christmas, washi tape, stickers, all that kind of stuff is in there. And then I have Halloween stuff in the second one or the third one. And same thing with the fourth one because I have more of Christmas and Halloween. That's why I have two uh, bins each. I have one of the Valentine's Day. Then I have one for spring and Easter. And then I have one for all the little miscellaneous holidays like Memorial Day, um, 4th of July, stuff like that. And then over here on this side is my Walmart shelf unit. I purchased this for $98 and this unit is stackable so if you want to get another one and stack it on top you can do that. But I only have the one for now. I use it to store my planner stuff because I needed more space. Um, over here on this side, I have my tray for my die cutting station. And then this is the little pen that I purchased to get all those little itty, be itty bitty pieces out. Over here I have my Sizzix machine and then I have my Scotch laminator. So what I did over here is because this material gets dirty really fast, so I decided to add some adhesive, um, what you, adhesive wallpaper I guess you can say um I got it from the Dollar Tree and this is kind of like a marble so I put it on here just to keep my um my unit clean and it does have sliding doors so it has two of them so now I'm gonna go ahead inside and I'm gonna show you guys what I have so over here we're gonna start I have a bin from the uh, Dollar Tree and this one used to be in my daughter's room but she didn't want it anymore so she gave it to me. I have my tray from the Target Dollar Spot and then I just have some paper clips that I like in here. I have my foam glitter flowers that my friend Maricela gave me. I also have my bag that my friend Jess gave me. I love it and I, love, I like to keep it in here so it's easy to grab. And then over here I have my little Christmas tin and it holds my Christmas foams. And I love these and I can't wait to use them. So that's what I have in there. Over here on this side I have an embellishment box that was given to me by one of my planner friends. And then I have three journals right here. One has my initial was given to me by my friend Mariah. This one I purchased from Michaels and I love it. It's my favorite one. And then this is a flamingo one that my friend Mariah sent me as well. And then over here, I have a Christmas box that my friend Janelle gave me. And I use it to keep some Christmas stuff as well. This little bag, it has my uh, Christmas ribbon and my Christmas washi tape. And then I have my bin with my little stars inside. So I like to use those for decoration. So that's what I have in there. All right, so then we're gonna continue over here. On this side, I have my Planner Society storage binder, the one that you guys saw me make. And then I have three binders from the Dollar Tree. These are gonna be used for my pocket letters. I just haven't organized them yet. Over here, I have my photo album, and I use this to store a lot of my die cuts. It's a mess, I had it nice and organized, but I have to redo everything, but I love it. I got it from Michaels. And then here I have my two sticker um, albums or my two sticker binders. And I have the Avery sheets. Again, it's not organized in any specific way because I mess it up every time I'm like grabbing something. Same thing, here's another one. 
and I love it. These little binders are my favorite. This is the first one that I ever made, and I love it. Over here I have my Target binder, and this one was given to me by my friend Maricela. And then over here I have my Dollar Tree one. It's the one that I turned into my planner, and you guys really love that video. It actually has a lot of hits, so thank you guys so much for that. So that's what I have on this side, and then we're going to move on to the next side. All right, so on this side over here, I have mostly all of my planners. Sorry. Over here, I have mostly all of my planners. This is the box that I got from the Chicago Planner Conference, and I had my coffee mug in there. I just use it to store my Valentine foam stickers. I love this box, so that's why I didn't want to throw it away. And then over here, I have my Planner Society Pocket Size Planner, my Mommy Hey Pocket Size. This is my pocket size that I made. This is my Recollections Personal Planner, my Planner Society B6 Planner, and my Illustrated Faith uh, Traveler's Notebooks. And then over here, I have my Clear Planner, which I still have to clean and do that video. I haven't done that yet. And then over here I have my Recollections A5 planner. In the back I just have some envelopes, nothing too special. And then over here I have another bin. And this bin just contains some of the stuff that I've done, like my file folders, my wands, my embellishment book, which I love, my accordion book, and then just some rosettes that my friend gave me, and I love them. But that is pretty much it. That's everything I have in my walmart unit and that's it guys that's it for my planner area part two i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys found some inspiration as to how to organize some of your planner area but you guys know what to do give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye